Hey, it's Suffering Student here, back with another Java VX UI design video where we in last video created a simple undecorated window where we can click anywhere and drag it around and I'll just simply have a button to close it. So in this video we're gonna change, so we actually have a top area where we can drag and that's the only area where we can drag and we're gonna make it a bit prettier. We're gonna add some colors and some very simple design elements. So firstly, I have created a CSS file where I've now just added like a background element and I chose, picked some colors before this session started where I just have like a grayish background, a little lighter top bar and a reddish for when I hover over a close button. But first of all, I have my scene builder connected to my sample XML like last time and let's first get the background to be the color of our CSS background group. So we do it by simply going, as we did in previous videos as well, click on the background anchor pane and we will go down to our JavaFX CSS style area, add a style sheet, a CSS file and a style class background. So first I will create like a top bar, which I'm just gonna create another anchor pane. I'm gonna drag in and this top bar is gonna be the new top bar kinda, which is going to be where we can drag around. So let's actually look at the positions, specific position of our layout. See, it is a bit too long because our page is 600. As you can see, this was in 600 by 400. So we would make this one 600 by 35. I think that looks good. It looks okay. And establishing zero, zero, that's perfect. And then we would like to add our close button. Oh, I'm actually just going to change it to be a X button. Maybe make it a bit bigger X. There we go. And I'm going to add a H box to my top anchor pane. And I'm just going to have it fill. But I'm going to change the position or oh, the size. So not make it by 100, but make it 35, just like our anchor pane. And I'm just gonna add my new box, new button. And it's actually gonna make it a bit bigger, but that's okay. So let's just take my anchor pane and my H box, and I'm gonna add some paddings. So I'm gonna add like, so it's kinda like it's floating in the middle. And instead of having it on the left, we would like to have it on the center right, like this. And I'm gonna save. And I'm gonna add in my CSS file, I'm gonna have a new group, which is called dot top bar. And we're just gonna have the, let's do it probably. I'm gonna add again a dash fx dash background color and we're just gonna make it the top bar color I picked and again all these colors will be in the description if you want to use them after so in my top bar I am gonna add again a style sheet and I'm gonna cover the top bar it's a bit lighter it's not too visible but that's kind of the point and let's create something for the button as well so dot that button and we're gonna set the dash fx dash I'm just gonna set the background color to the same as our background and then we're gonna add another one dot button on hover and we're gonna add A new background color and in this case we're going to use the red one so it's going to look a bit dramatic so that's what we have for now let's add the red to the color and change the text fill to white. 
we might actually, if we did this probably, we'd probably add like an icon because the X is not the prettiest. But this kind of works for now. So let's run it again and see how it looks. Looks pretty good, but actually our scene size is not probably set up. Let's have a look what's going on. So our scene is 800 by 600, but our anchor pane is only 600 by 400. So we need to change this. There we go. So now it should look better. And there we go. That looks pretty good. And when we click it, it disappears. We could add like some kind of change as well, a color when it's clicked, but it's not going to matter too much in this case. So let's actually change. So now at the moment when we drag around, we drag everything around, but we would like to only be able to drag when we start in the top bar area. So we can do this by changing the way our on mouse pressed and on mouse dragged works because right now it's working by on the root but we would actually like to change it so it is on our this anchor pane so we would give this anchor pane an id and call it like top bar save and we're gonna pull our top bar id into the controller And what we would like to do is actually access our stage from our main class. And actually what I've been told in a comment from the last video is actually this is not the best way of doing it. Which I didn't notice because right now we are setting the double x value to null and the y value to zero. So if you want to have both null, you should not add a zero to anything or we should do it like this. But for now, we're actually going to move these into our controller. And we're just going to be using a static in this case. It's definitely not the best to use statics in general, but this is just a short example. So I'm just going to showcase the usability and you can change it if you need to. So what we would do is we do a, a public static stage. just call it stage and what if we do is we would remove all of this functionality for now just that's I'm just gonna clip it and then I'm just gonna set my stage to be equal to my primary stage which will allow me inside from this area I actually have my anchor pane and I am just gonna be implementing initializable and when I have initializable I will now instead of using a root I will use my top bar which will change that I'm able to drag it around on my top bar but I still need to move my primary stage but because I made it a static variable or we would probably might change it to a singleton I'm not going to do it now, but you could. We would actually have to access our stage through our stage. So what we would do is we would do stage. Let's actually change the name. This is getting confusing. We're actually going to change the name to just do prime stage and prime stage. So now we should do make a capital S. So now from our controller, we would go, go main dot prime stage. And this is one we're going to use to set our stage change values. So change the X and the Y position values. And what this now allows us to do is simply have a where we can't drag if we click I'm clicking here but if I click in the top bar I can now drag it around and now when we have 
this basic setup. That's more or less what I wanted. So just to sum up quickly, we removed all the movability of our stage from our main to our controller, where we now use our top bar as the element we're going to be clicking on and dragging on. And we created a static stage value that takes the value of a primary stage and then passes it to our controller right here, where we can then can use it through our main because it is a static value. So it is accessed through the class. And of course, we made all the layout a bit more, a bit nicer with some colors and some fancy close button. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe and I wish you all a wonderful day.